I am pretty excited about this. These are some new knives for my um, thicknesser. These ones that I have in here are the original, which came with this unit, so they are high speed steel, but these are the new, um, what is it, carbon fiber? No, carb? No. Future Robin here, they are actually tungsten carbide tips. I was working on something when I noticed how blunt they were, actually. I'll grab it. So this is a very nice piece of some kind of hardwood, I'm not sure what it is. It's extremely solid. Um, it's mostly dry. Uh, I got this cut probably about eight months ago. It's mostly dry. And what I wanted to do before it was fully dried was remove some of the material so it dries a bit quicker. Put this side through and it's come up beautifully. And then did this side and you can see all of these black lines here. That's the thickness of bogging down and just burning instead of cutting through the material. So this was what prompted me to get some new knives. And as I say, forked out a bit more and got the, the good knives. I'm gonna get these installed and then see how much better it runs um, that piece of wood through. There it is. Shit. So I bought these from Hefco, which is the same mob that sold me this thicknesser. They come in packs of 10, which I don't understand because this unit has 26 of these cutters. So why would they sell them in packs of 10? Why not sell them in packs of 26 or, I guess it would have to be, what was it, nine, so that would be 27. Yeah, so it'd have to be a pack of 26 or, or closer to it. I just, I just don't get it, because who's gonna change out 10 of their knives? Surely you would change out all 26 at once. All right, all the screws are out. Pulling off this top uncovers the cutter heads. So these are each of them here. And you can just rotate that and replace them as you go. These ones have two cutting sides to them. I imagine it's gonna be the same on the new ones. You can see that little dot on the one corner over there. That shows you how to orientate it. And on this side and this side is cutter heads. This side and this side is nothing. So you get two for the price of one basically. And the best bit about it is that these self-center. So you don't need to worry about lining them up. That's one of the main reasons I bought this unit. You literally just swap it out for the new one, screw it back in and it's good to go. All right, all the cutter heads have been replaced, the dust hood is back on, but before we get to actually using it, I just wanted to um, show these old heads. So these are the high speed steel cutter heads, and when I rub my finger on there, geez, that's, that's pretty blunt. And I say that because I'm expecting a massive improvement, possibly even better when I rotated these for the first time. So these are the heads is the actual name of them. So they're, they're tungsten carbide. And each one of these packs was around, I think it was $90 Australian. So it was about a $300 replacement or upgrade, depending how you look at it. As you can see, this is obviously gonna put this thicknesser under a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of load, because this is basically the width of the thicknesser being used all at once. Now to put it in perspective, the last time I ran this, I was having to come around this side and pull pull the, the, the timber through because it just wasn't feeding. So that's the amount of work I was having to put into it. I'm expecting this time that it should just slide on through.
Now, as you would have seen, it did put the motor under a lot of strain. Um, there was a couple times when I had to pull it through, but I'm not too worried about that. This is a very, very dense piece of hardwood. Um, I mean, the weight of it for this size is, is crazy. And the fact that it's taking out the entire width of um, the cutter head. If it was ever gonna struggle with anything, this was gonna be the piece. So I'm not too concerned about that. The cut quality is unbelievably good. I mean, it is, you could probably do some 600 sanding on that and it'd be good to go. I'm amazed at how, just how clean that is. I mean, this bit here, geez, that's smooth. So this hasn't stayed as flat as I'd wanted it to. I've got a slight dip here, which I suspect is because I'm running it through the thickness on this small section here. So what I'm gonna do is leave this now, put it aside, let it continue drying. It's at about 15%, and then I'll run that through the thicknesser again, probably in about three to six months. So, carbide tips, is it worth it? Well, it's hard to tell. Right now they are brand new, so they're as sharp as they're gonna be, so of course they're gonna work really well. The real test with these is gonna be in their longevity. So, um, John Crawford from the Shop Store Podcast, the podcast that I'm on every Thursday evening, he was saying carbide tips aren't as sharp as high speed steel, but they're a lot stronger. So, your cut isn't gonna be necessarily any finer, but they should last you a lot longer. So, I'm happy to spend 300 bucks on some, some cutter heads, as long as I get my money's worth and they last as long as they're supposed to.